Suppose you have ground truth masks created by an intern and it needs to be edited or validated by a senior expert. It is possible to do this in Slicer 3D. To do that, first we load the image and the mask by drag and drop. When the image is loaded, we need to tell which file is the image and which one is the mask. The image is labeled as volume and the mask is labeled as segmentation. After this, Slicer 3D automatically shows the masks overlaid on the image over the tissue. Now we see that the masks are not correct or not smooth in some of the slices. So we need to edit these. We can do this in the segment editor directly. But before that, we need to set the transparency of the mask. This is not necessary, but it helps while editing the mask. So we go to the segmentation and select our segmentation file, which we declared when we were loading the different files. Now go to display and reduce the slice fill so that the background tissue is also visible. So now the boundary is very sharp but we can still see through the mask. Now we can go to segment editor where we can edit our mask. We have various tools so first we will use the smoothening function. I prefer Gaussian smoothening. You can choose anyone which you like. Keep SD at 1.5 mm and then click apply. Now you can see that not only the current slice but entire slices have been smoothened. Next, if you want to increase the shape of the mask, you can take the paintbrush and paint over the region where you think the mask should be present. This tool works on single slice at a time. So we go through all the slices and then edit them. If you need to exclude certain regions, use the eraser to do so. Keep in mind that the control Z or the undo function only remembers up to one change in its memory. Once it is done, we go through all the slices once while zoomed in and once while zoomed out so that no stray points are left here and there. To save this new version of the segmentation, we go to the data module, right click on the mask and export to binary label map and then save as a nifty file or any other file format of your choice. These videos and animations take a long time to create so please support us by subscribing our channel.